Hello everyone, my name is John Quixote, and once again today we are going to be playing the Banner Saga. And as always, link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Alright, so last time when we left off, we had just destroyed the bridge at such and such place. Yeah, which honestly surprised me that we actually pulled off because it came down to a let. All we had was a let left, and she was taking on... Uh, at the end, she was basically she was taking out all the varl for someone who uh, doesn't. Which I'm sorry, I let didn't mean to make you kill them, uh, but <laughs> she was taking them all out. And uh, eventually, it got to the point where it was just her and two varl, and she was able to outpace and uh, keep on outrunning them, and then shooting and finally defeating the last couple of them. Man, that was a tense battle. A tense battle. Oh, we only have two days of supplies. This thing needs to slow down. Stop moving so fast. Stop moving so fast. So, yeah, I really didn't have enough supplies when I left. The sound of a skirmish alert you to a varl, surrounded by a half a dozen armed fighter. One man spots you and shouts, Leave us to our business. This varl killed my father without a reason. The varl is about to respond when a man attacks. The giant swats the blade aside and silently watches for the next assault. Let's hear what the Varl has to say. The Varl shrugs as if unconcerned saying, this one's fa <clears throat> as if saying, this one's father and, and I had a business deal. He lied, now he's dead. Lies, shouts the man. You murdered him over a lie. You coward. The men wildly attack the Varl who deflect them well enough, but you're uncertain of how long he can keep it up. Let them sell their own dispute. You quickly decide this uh, minor scuffle between man and Varl is not worth the caravan's precious time and none of your business. Besides, your warriors return with you some more reluctantly than others. Yeah, honestly, I mean... All they're doing... I mean... Yeah. That's not our place. Some clansmen has, have discovered a large patch of wild fruit. When you approach, you seem, see some people have begun to sample them. A mother frets about whether they're safe after overhearing one of the children say that it tastes funny. Others start gathering by the baskets full. Uh, observe someone who already ate some. <clears throat> After a short time, you know the slurred speech of a young man partaking of the fruit. Besides a little drunk, he seems perfectly fine. Gather as much as you can, then. Gather what you can. You can tell you tell the others. Thankful to add any amount of food to your stores. Though a few people become a little drunk from the fermented fruits, nobody becomes sick. Oh, plus two supplies. Thank you. I needed that. I... I needed that. I needed that. Okay, we're still in good. We're not great, but we're good in morale. That doesn't sound good. It appears that large figures falling from the direction of Eintroft. Odleaf watches intently before finally saying, They have a card. I can hear it. You slow to get a better view and spy a small caravan of Barl. Eventually, they catch up. Greetings, Ivor. It's been quite a while since we talked. Hasn't it? I know you, Ubin. Never imagined you'd be one of the to defy the king. What made you leave? Some had to. Someone had to. What do you mean? Bellower is heading this way. Already? How is that possible? A group of all from Win Wormto showed up around the back of Iron Trough. The long way. Bellower and his army chased them across the summer path, they said. Past Wormtoe? That doesn't make sense. Bellower was at the bridge. He must have doubled back after that serpent appeared. While we fought on the bridge, he led half his forces around to approach Iantroff from behind. Really, Uben, did you fight? Did you fight? I mean, I don't blame you if you didn't, because, I mean... Okay, that was just part of the animation. I, for a second, I thought. See, I thought. I thought that did. Uh, that made his uh, Tesla's move. 
did you, I mean, uh, Gren, your age, I doubt you could really wield a much more than that pen right there, so. The attack on the bridge was a feint? Don't let anyone tell you the dredge aren't clever. I and Troth will fall within a day. Maybe not. He's following you. I thought one of you might know why. You exchange nervous glances, but nobody speaks up. Must be me, then. Is there something I don't know? That's quite a grudge he's holding if he's coming for you, Ivor. It doesn't matter. Our only chance is to get to Sh Shingholm. Juno will know what to do. We'll join you. I come bearing supplies and warriors who would be happy to kill a dredge or two, I believe. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, more supplies, more supplies. Less supplies now. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Whew. The caravan stops at a split in the road. I head the path lean to Schlingholm. Schlingholm veers off into the hills, which are now swimming with familiar black shapes. Oh, great, it's the dredge, isn't it? Dredge, that way too? Grimaces Evan. The summer path leads straight to Shigholm. While taking the main road will add several days. <sighs> They're every... They're every way by now. Repl They're every way by now, replies Ubin. I suggest we go around. Past Hawkstorp. Okay, so we can send scouts to see how it is. Start cutting a path through the dredge. Let's listen to Ubin. Ubin, he hasn't gotten to this age by just being stupid, so. I hate to say it, you tell Evan, but I'm not willing to walk into swarms of dredge anymore. Juno will have to wait. You turn toward the long road around Hawkstorp instead, hoping you've saved lives in the process. Oh, we gained some renown. Ooh, we got a lot of renown. I can actually upgrade some, uh, I can go ahead and start upgrading some, or promoting some people. Assuming I might not need the, while walking the woods of a mother's, wait, while walking, the words of a mother's song reach you. It's soothing, nuanced, and about your current journey. When she finishes, a man begins a tale of his own in verse. The woman quickly responds with another poem, and the entire caravan slows to listen to the entertaining com uh, competition. Join the crowd and cheer the competitors. We need to stay vigilant and honor the poetry contest and keep an ear out for danger. We'll let them continue on, and then we'll, but we'll ignore it and keep an ear out. The laughter and cheers continue behind you as you put some space between you between to remain undistracted. The male contestant soon admits defeat and the clansmen quickly march on, thankful for the lighthearted distraction. Yeah, this was no time. Where are we now? Ooh, you enter a village of miners. Well, they can't drink, so it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Oh, like, I'm... I punished myself for that one. That one, that, I, that one was bad in several regards, including delivery. So, Who wants to know what has been happening recently between the rumblings of the quake and sightings of dredge in the distance? As you look around, you see a lot of elderly and children and know that these people will only be more mouths to feed. Let them make their own decision. You welcome anyone who wishes to join care to join caravan many do while others choose to stay in their homes and see things through you wish them luck all right yeah and let's go ahead and go to market we have some ren <gasps> what renown get six Ooh, we're stocking we're stocking oh i took the i took it all yeah we'll take it all 
Okay, I don't need to worry about those. I am going to go ahead and promote a couple people. Let's see. Uh, who do I choose to promote? That's the question. Definitely Ivor. I want him to be able to wear that boat. That boat. That belt. Uh, continue. Yes. Confirm. Confirm. All right. Now, the question is, what do we want? Ooh, four points available. Wait, did I not? I might not. I might have forgotten to upgrade him last time. All right, let's see. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Do we want more defense or do we want more offense? More defense. All right, and we can upgrade one more person. Who is it going to be? Honestly, I need to promote Rook. Because I need him to be able to last just a l There we go. Because I need him to be able to last just a little bit longer in battles. That would be nice. Oh, shield break. What's up? Up that one. I probably should do more to shield, but nah. Say la vie que sera Wait, I can promote him again? Man. He's been doing some work. He's been doing some damage. And with this, I do believe we can go ahead and rest for a day. We're going to go ahead and rest. They deserve a rest. And now everyone should be full health. Yeah, everyone's full health. Yay. I'm still surprised Crummer stuck with us. Yeah, I really am surprised that Crummer decided to stay with us. I would have thought he would have stuck with the... Oh, great. This sounds like battle music. Are we coming across the dredge? Look at that! Shouts one of your clansmen. The caravan stops to watch Dredge pulling into the village you just passed through. <gasps> I hope anyone who stayed behind got out alive, says Alette, but you have your doubts. Oh, I'm glad I allowed at least whoever wanted to come with me, come with me. They're coming, says Ivor, pointing out a line of dredge leaving the village and marching towards you. As you watch, the dredge in front fall the dredge in front falls over. Then the one behind it falls as well. You hear twang to your left. Oh, you! Yay! I like you. Nid, the archery student of Old Leafs, who you were called deftly shooting a snow rabbit, is firing arrow arrows down the hill. Another dredge topples. That's in <clears throat> That's incredible, says Old Leaf, squinting. But we should get out of here. Uh, da, da, da. Old Leaf's right. Let's... But why don't you come with us? And the next time you want to try out that bow, you tell Ned, who nods and s a smile on her face. Okay. Yeah, I feel like letting her take out a few more probably would have ended up getting us in a fighting position that we didn't want to be in. Someone, Someone's someone's been nicker, nicking extra goods from the supplies. Concerned woman tells you. Counted these myself yesterday. No mistake. This keeps up. We'll all be starving before long. Duh. Let's see. Post a few extra guards. Ask clansmen about it. Announce that any more missing supplies results in rationing. Tell me if you see it again. We're going to post a few extra guards. To deter any further theft, you discreetly place some trusted guards by the caravans. You hear a few people casually point out the extra manpower, but nobody seems to raise an alarm for now. I mean, it shouldn't... Ooh, what's that? Morale declined. Again. Again it declines. Always declining. Never reclining, never taking a break, never relaxing. We made it to another Godstone. This one is broken in three. 
time to see who this god represents and if it has anything to do with me. Okay, so who's this one? Who is this one not broken in twain, but trice? Broken in trice. Wah! The god stone of Dunder passes around you. In the frozen climates here, it looks like the rock has split and is falling apart, held together only by the deep snow. Curiously, when standing between the stones, the wind drops off completely, picking up again once you've passed through. I almost wonder if we should rest here for the night, says Ivor, who seems to have noticed the same thing. With all the snow around, with all... Uh, <clears throat> wait. Ah, they forgot quotation marks there. With all the snow around it, Dredge might not even be able to find it. Yeah, I agree. Let's stay overnight. You walk around you walk around camp before settling in. Along each strand of Dr Dunder's massive beard is carved a different part of his story. And you turn your head and to and fro to read it. While the Loom Mother was the first to create, she soon she soon found a counterpart in Dunder, who embodied her ideals in a masculine form. Dunder took some of her creations, gave them beards, and showed them the secrets of smithing. Though many remember him just as fondly for teaching uh, them games and songs of myth, a mirth. As the camp settles and you notice a, a group of boys huddled around something, they show you an offering box carved in the godstone itself. The box is an elaborate construction of interlocking pieces which slide around when touched. We can't get it to open, they tell you. It's like a puzzle. Let's try to open it. The boys take turns working out the puzzle and give you tips when it's your turn. Though you don't seem to make much progress, eventually they leave to sleep until it's just you and a couple other determined youngsters. Keep working on the puzzle box. It's hard to know how long you spend sliding around the smooth puzzle pieces, but when people begin emerging from their tents, you know you're in trouble. Exhausted from a long, sleepless night, worse still, the, the box remains closed as you shuffle wearily along with the leaving caravan. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. I thought maybe it would open. I thought maybe we would be able to figure out how to open. Oh, what is this? Is this grass? Is this... Gr it's It's been ages since we've seen grass. Mind you, I'm not complaining. I love the snow. Uh, the caravan consists of more clansmen than you ever expected. Accusations of sp stolen chickens, missing heirlooms, and concerns over daughter's virtues are the sort of thing you hear relentlessly. Even fighters complain of spreading too thin to protect everyone. <laughs> Carry on and put up with it. Try to address the major issues. Try to keep people useful and too busy for petty squabbles. Form a council to handle these problems. Split the caravan. Nah. Nah. Nah, that's not a good choice. Don't want to split it because I'm pretty sure we would also split our supplies. And we're right there. We're almost there. Um, I'm thinking about forming a council. That seems to be... Um, it's between these three. Because, yeah, you don't want to just carry on. And you don't want to split the caravan. Form a council. We're going to form a council. You select a few older members to solve everyday issues, but in fighting neuters, their progress. Other members feel they could do a better job. Ultimately, while it buys some time, the council dissolves tired of the thankless and demanding work. Shit. I should just try to keep them busy. Say la vie, que sera, sera. That. But that's okay, we're almost at a house store. House store. House store. House store. House store. In the distance, Huck store smolders like an old campfire. Even from here, you can see Black Figure shambling through it. That, look like, that looks like a dead. That looks like a dead town, remarks Ivor, confirming your impressions. There's, there's usually your survivors, Old Leaf reminds you. <sighs> Check it out just in case. I hope others would do the same for me. Dredge are nothing we haven't faced before. 
Ivor grunts, but otherwise says nothing. Besides, it might throw Bellower off our off the scent a bit. You had a day's march out towards uh, Hawkskirt. Of, start, burp, burp. As soon as you stepped foot in the small town, you think you've made a mistake. It's thoroughly littered with corpses. Within moments, the dredge are upon you, as though you stirred an angry hornet's nest. You draw your weapons. Yay! I made another mistake. Damn it. All right. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who do we want? We want to keep both of our. Okay, I'm going to make some decisions here and then I'll be actually, you know what? We're going to end the vi the video right here. This is a good point. This is a good point. This is this is about where I probably should anyways. So, yeah. So if you we'll continue this next time. Uh in between uh episodes, I'll have it sorted out who I'm going to have to go and battle and all that fun stuff. So yeah. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And let me know. Are we anywhere near the end? This game is going on a long time and it's making me feel bad because I'm having to make a lot of bad decisions. So do you think we're anywhere near the end? We might be about halfway. I'm, I'm My guess is we're about halfway through. Whew. <laughs> A lot more stress coming our way. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Daily uploads, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every day. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.